Hi my Virgo witches, welcome to the Witches Craft. I'm your host Moon Mistress. For those of you that haven't checked out my other channel, uh, The Oracle Divine, um, you can do so if you wish. I do general and love readings for each of the zodiac signs on a monthly basis. Um, as for this channel, it pertains to those who specifically do uh, some magical work, okay? So whether you're a witch or you're just uh, very spiritual and you're not against uh, using spell work, then uh, this horoscope is for you. So we're going to be taking a look at what spells might be beneficial to you uh, on a monthly basis, as well as any blockages in your magical um, or spiritual path and how to get past those blockages. Um, I don't know if I repeated all of that twice because it's really late when I record things, okay? So anyway, Virgo witches, um, we're going to be using the Wiccan box of spells to, for the first few readings anyway, to see what kind of spell work might be beneficial to you, as well as to gain further insight, uh, to your situation. Now, um... There's a mix of black and white magic spells on this channel, so take what feels right to you and leave what doesn't feel right, okay? I know some of you may not practice uh, both kinds of magic, but it's good to know uh, all different kinds of spells, okay? So let's get into your reading. So for your spell work, we start you off with the Hedge Witch, okay? Okay. Now, this card indicates that you guys might need to release yourself from being entangled in other people's problems, okay? Now, of course, it's Scorpio season, so this is a good time to cut off things that are no longer serving you, okay? Um, but you guys may have uh, found your, yourselves in trouble with other people's problems, so that might be a reoccurring theme for you to let go of in the month of October. Now, in terms of what kind of spell this is, and you can find this spell in the description below, and you can also find it on my Facebook page and Instagram for the Witch's Craft, okay? So I'll be uh, posting them there. But in terms of the kind of spell for this card, um, it is to keep yourself as one regarding an illicit affair, okay? Now, the next card you get is called the Secret Witch. So, during the month of October, some of you guys may find out some secret information. And this information is either going to help you progress forward with something, or it's going to allow you to retreat, okay? Now, this card does indicate um, some amount of good news coming in for you. Um, the other thing here is... Sorry, I know you can't probably tell, but I'm, I'm eight months pregnant, so I, I get, like, really bad heartburn, and I wish it would just stop for these videos, but anyway. Okay, sorry. Um... Where was I going with this? <laughs> um, yeah, so you guys may find out some secret information. And you guys might get some good news. And the other thing that comes with this card is somebody might tell you some secret admirations that they have for you. So there's kind of a little love aspect here. Uh, you or somebody else, Virgo, during the month will be expressing some... Uh, you know, some affections towards somebody or somebody's doing this towards you. Okay, now the spell that comes with this card is about healing a friendship. All right, so again, uh, that's going to be in the description below. And the last spell card that you get, Virgo, is the Cursing Witch, okay? Now, there is a warning with this card. Another sign got it, but I forget which sign it was. Uh, you guys may need to be careful of somebody around you. Uh, for some of you, it's a female specifically. Okay, and this is about somebody who's um, potentially talking badly behind your back. Because 
of whatever reason, they're either envious of you or they don't like your success and they want to see you fail for whatever reason. Spirit is letting you guys know that you actually are going to deflect this evil eye uh, that's being cast upon you and this is going to be returned back to sender, okay? So whoever's trying to curse you is actually going to um, in turn curse themselves uh, by wishing bad things on you, Virgo. Okay, now the spell that's associated with this card is to um, hex somebody for a day, okay? Um, and it's it, it's kind of black magic. I'll label it as gray magic uh, just so you guys know, okay? And that'll be in the description. Now, for what's blocking your magic here, and you guys actually got pretty positive cards, but... What's blocking your magic in the month of October? Well, we have the King of Cups. So it could be a water sign uh, who you're focusing your attention on. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. For some of you, you are waiting for a court issue, okay, to be balanced out and turn in your favor. It could be regarding this water sign for some of you. And for others of you, you're seeking karmic justice, okay? Again, you want something to balance out here. Now, it could be with the water sign, but it doesn't have to be. For others of you, this is you seeking karmic justice in terms of your emotions, okay? Um, so you're trying to balance out your emotional self right now. So while you're doing this, it could put a little bit of a block on your magic or your spiritual work. Okay, some of you, there is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or this could even be a Pisces uh, female. Okay, so some of you guys could be focusing your attention on this female specifically. There could have been a third party situation or a head over heart decision that needed to be made regarding this female. Okay, now if it was a third party situation because we did get we did get the head witch. The third party situation could have been between a water sign and a fire sign female. Okay. Now for others of you, there was uh, some kind of heartbreak that took place and it took a toll on your confidence um, and your creative ability. So you have some blockages there. Okay. <coughs> Now, your final uh, card for the blockages is the star card, and the star card is actually a pretty good card. Um, it's about getting your wish fulfillment, okay? It's about manifesting and focusing on your dreams. For some of you, there could be an Aquarius uh, who's gotten your attention, and that's that could be blocking you from your spiritual work. For others of you, this is you trying to decide... Uh, how you are going to live more spiritually, okay? How you are going to uh, manifest what it is that you want, okay? So some of you are in this decision-making process or you're just juggling a lot of stuff, but we still see that there's healing and manifesting power here, okay? So it's, it's not much of a block. It looks like you guys are just, you know, juggling some things here. So what can you do to get over these blockages, Virgo? Well, we have you coming up as the Queen of Swords, okay? So for some of you, this is being really logical about a situation. This is cutting off what no longer serves you. And this is being logical and thinking very intellectually um, as opposed to emotionally going forward, okay? For some of you, you need to come out of... Uh, some solitary confinement that you've put yourselves in, okay? Uh, just like um, Cancer, uh, Virgos sometimes uh, take time out for themselves so they can assess some things and get back on track. Spirit wants you guys to come out of this um, situation now, okay? And you guys might even feel that you're ready to come out of hiding or seclusion, okay? And move forward with your spiritual work. We have the Seven of Swords in reverse. So for some of you, you need to get off your chest uh, something about a third party situation, okay? For others of you, you could have been lied to, stolen from, 
uh, cheated on or dealt with sneaky behavior. If there is any cross watchers watching for you, they could feel that you were doing this, uh, Virgo, but that's besides the point. Um, it's time for you guys to come out of this energy now again, okay? Now, there's also an element here, too, of um, trying to get back the things that you lost, especially for a lot of you where there was some kind of betrayal. Spirit wants you to work on um, getting back those things that you lost, okay? And your final outcome for getting rid of the blockages is the Wheel of Fortune. So for some of you, travel or moving might help your situation, okay? Um, for others of you, this is, again, putting an end to a cycle that was toxic, that's been blocking you in your magic, okay? And moving forward. Um, Spirit wants you guys to move forward from any kind of fighting, um, especially where there's more than one person involved. You guys just don't need to engage in it anymore, okay? So, like I said, guys, your your spells are going to be listed below, as well as on Facebook and Instagram. Okay, my Virgo witches, um, I will see you next time. Bye!